One of the things that changed over the last couple of years is in 2019, the training standards have, have changed for our M4 qualification. There are six tables that need to be performed in order for a soldier or a unit to be qualified for the year. The first table is a preliminary marksmanship instruction and evaluation. Even though it is a requirement, that product, that PMI itself, was not something that TRADOC built. So we took it upon ourselves to build one to encompass all of those things that soldiers need to know in that marksmanship fundamentals piece uh, in order to get that prior to go, moving out and going to the range. In addition to that, the standard requires that there is a written test and soldiers must achieve an 80% uh, passing rate on that written test in order to, again, proceed to the next table. However, the manual doesn't give you a test and it doesn't tell you how many questions that are on it. So table one is PMI with a written test. Table two is the engagement skills trainer, the uh, digital virtual simulator that we have for small arms. We have one here at Camp Fogarty and there are some others throughout the region. That zero procedure and a qualification table is required on the EST in order to move into the third table, which is skills and drills. Uh, those skills and drills are malfunction fixes, uh, how to perform a work through of a mechanical stoppage, whether that's a double feed, or a stovepipe, or some of those types of things. It also talks about the different shoot, varying shooting positions that soldiers will shoot from during the qualification table. In years past, we've done majority of our shooting from the prone supported position. Uh, now there are five different shooting positions that soldiers have to uh, engage targets with during the qualification table. The fourth table is your zero. That is the beginning of the live fire portion of the events. You cannot, by standard, go to the range and zero your rifle and fire live ammunition without prior, uh, previously having tables one, two, and three complete. Once soldiers have been zeroed, we really want them to get good groupings. If the, the grouping is not within that six box diameter and is all over the place, we really can't give you good data on how to make adjustments. Once all the soldiers are complete on zero, then we'll move down to the pop-up qualification range. At the qualification range, the final piece of that zero and grouping table four is confirmation at known distances. What does that mean? So there is an, an automated system, which is part of table four, the zeroing and grouping table that stands up the 300 meter target at distance, which looks like this at 300 meters. And soldiers need to engage that with a five round magazine and must knock it down four out of those five rounds. Uh, that target will be exposed and articulate up and down for a full minute. Upon engaging that one, soldiers will perform a magazine change and the 100 meter target and 200 meter target will appear in tandem. And again, same type of silhouette. Soldiers have to engage each one of those targets and knock it down four out of five rounds each. Those targets are exposed for 55 seconds. We explained to soldiers that if they want to go back and forth as the, the targets get knocked down and come back up, that is also fine. But uh, we want to replicate reality. So I encourage soldiers to shoot the closer targets first. So table five, the practice qualification table, again, is the same number of targets, the same number of rounds as table six, the qualification for record. Um, the only difference is those targets will go down faster They'll be exposed for a little bit shorter of a time. And the time frame in between stages in which you need to change magazines on your own is faster. Uh, on the qualification table, you have five seconds to change magazines in between each stage. So as we go through it, I'll explain the five different shooting positions for both the practice qual and the qualification for record.